USS Denver's aircraft firefighting team and two of their premier hot suitmen recently participated in Yokosuka's shipboard firefighting training. Uh, basically, we just did a uh, basic firefighting, entering and exiting the aircraft, uh, rescuing personnel. Their main job is to remain calm, cool, and collected. But that's not always easy in the face of danger. It was hot. It was uh, the flames underneath you, and uh, you're just trying to stay cool and not breathe out your whole uh, SCBA pack. And you hope that your uh, teammates don't splash you with the uh, hose because you steam up, get overheated. So that was a big concern today. Being this close to the fire was a first for Crosby. No aircraft fires yet, only this uh, trainer. It was exciting. It was uh, you, adrenaline's running, you just want to just get it done. You sweat and you're trying to just stay focused, but uh, overall it's a good time. I enjoy this school. Crosby's fire buddy, Petty Officer Joshua Carey, is not new to fighting fires. Uh, before I was in Navy, uh, I was a crash and rescue for six years uh, on a local fire department and uh, pretty much do the same thing that I do right now. He's no stranger to danger. He said the key is to focus. That's pretty warm. It gets, uh, gets a little nerve wracking. Um, you just got to clear your mind. You just got to know what your main focus is. You know, like the first time going in, you have to get the casualties out of the aircraft. Uh, you can't focus on the heat. You have to focus on the task at hand. At the end of the day, every member knows that firefighting is a team effort and that the team is only as strong as its weakest link. Petty Officer Adrian White, Yokosuka Naval Base, Japan.